We've all felt it, the sudden solid thud as the plane touches down. That moment when the wheels meet the runway can be a bit of a surprise, even for seasoned travelers. It's a feeling that resonates through the entire aircraft, rattling the cabin and drawing nervous glances. Passengers brace themselves, a collective intake of breath often fills the air as everyone reacts to the jolt. The engines wind down, flaps extend and everything seems routine. The familiar sounds and sights of preparing for landing lull you into a sense of calm until that jarring impact, that single decisive moment that breaks the spell of the approach. For many, a smooth landing means a skilled pilot. A gentle kiss of the wheels to the tarmac is often interpreted as a sign of expertise, a firm one, a mistake. A less than graceful arrival can lead to doubts and second guessing, but is that really true? Is a hard landing always a sign of imperfection? What if that hard landing was intentional, a calculated maneuver, executed with precision and the safest choice, the optimal decision given the circumstances at hand? From the cabin, we only sense the touchdown, a brief, isolated moment in a complex sequence of events, not the wind shifts, runway conditions, the ever-changing variables that pilots must constantly assess, or the pilot's split-second decisions. The rapid calculations and adjustments made in the face of dynamic conditions. The truth is, a firm landing often means the pilot is employing a technique to ensure the aircraft is safely on the ground. The pilots are doing exactly what's needed for safety prioritizing control and stability above all else. Comfort is secondary, a lower priority compared to the primary goal of a secure landing to a stable controlled arrival. Ensuring the plane is firmly planted on the runway regardless of the sensation felt in the cabin. That thud, it's often the sound of a job done right. A testament to the pilot's skill and dedication to safety. Pilots aren't aiming for softness, a gentle touchdown is a bonus, not the primary objective. They're aiming for safety. A secure and controlled landing is always the paramount concern. Next time you feel that jolt, remember it's a sign that the pilots are taking the necessary actions to ensure your well-being. It's not a mistake, a lapse in skill or judgment, but a mark of professionalism, a demonstration of expertise and commitment to safety protocols. Sometimes the safest landings, especially in challenging conditions, are the ones you feel the most. So the next time you experience a firm landing, take comfort in knowing that safety was the pilot's top priority. Every major runway has a clearly marked touchdown zone, those bold white stripes you see from your window. Pilots are trained to land squarely within this zone, not just for show, but because every foot of runway counts. Floating down the runway for a softer landing wastes precious pavement and can risk an overrun, especially in tough conditions. The mantra is simple. Fly the airplane onto the runway, don't chase a greaser. A firm landing in the touchdown zone is a sign of skill and discipline. It allows immediate use of brakes, spoilers and reverse thrust critical for stopping safely. Sacrificing precision for comfort actually reduces safety margins. The best pilots prioritize a stable, predictable landing over a silky smooth one. That firmness you feel, it's a pilot in command making the safest call. In aviation, precision always trumps perception. A firm arrival is a professional one. Add water to the runway, transforming a familiar surface into a treacherous challenge. The physics of flight and landing change dramatically when a thin layer of water separates the tires from the solid ground and the stakes rise exponentially. Every decision, every maneuver becomes critical. The margin for error shrinks, demanding absolute precision and unwavering focus from the flight crew. Hydroplaning when tires ride on water, not pavement, is the invisible enemy. It's a phenomenon where the water pressure in front of the tire exceeds the weight of the aircraft, lifting the tire off the runway surface. This renders brakes useless and control minimal, turning a multi-ton aircraft into a sled on a watery surface. Steering becomes ineffective and the ability to slow down diminishes rapidly. The best defense against this dangerous situation, a firm positive touchdown that breaks through the water layer with decisive force. This initial impact is crucial to re-establish contact with this pavement. It ensures the tires grip the runway, allowing the braking systems to function as intended. This grip is the pilot's lifeline in these conditions. On a wet runway, a gentle floating landing is dangerous. It prolongs the critical moment of tire to pavement contact. This delays braking effectiveness and invites skidding, potentially leading to a loss of control and a runway excursion. 
pilots press the aircraft down decisively using the aircraft's controls to ensure a firm and immediate contact. This activates anti-skid brakes and deploys spoilers instantly, maximizing the available stopping power. Spoilers pop up, aggressively killing lift and adding drag, acting as powerful air brakes. This transfers full weight to the wheels for maximum braking efficiency, ensuring the tires have the best possible chance to grip. In rain, that hard landing isn't clumsy or accidental. It's a calculated and deliberate maneuver, executed with precision and expertise. It's about safety, not passenger comfort. The priority is always to bring the aircraft to a safe stop. Every second counts, every meter matters when stopping on a slick surface. The faster the aircraft decelerates, the safer the outcome. A firm touchdown ensures all critical systems engage immediately and work in harmony to slow the aircraft. The next time you land in the rain and feel a jolt, a more pronounced bump than usual, know it's the safest move. A testament to the pilot's skill and commitment to safety. Pilots are trading a momentary sensation of discomfort, a brief jolt that might feel unsettling. They are doing this for a massive gain in control, ensuring the aircraft responds predictably and reliably. On wet runways, that initial firmness saves lives, preventing potential disaster and ensuring a safe arrival. Passengers love a greaser a landing so smooth you barely notice, but for pilots, chasing that softness can be risky. Floating above the runway eats up stopping distance and can lead to trouble if conditions change suddenly. Lose too much speed while floating and the plane can stall, dropping hard onto the runway. A soft touchdown can also delay the activation of spoilers and brakes, costing precious seconds on short or wet runways. That delay is unacceptable. The pursuit of smoothness can actually set up a much rougher, uncontrolled landing. Pilots know a decisive, firm touchdown is safer and more predictable. The greaser may win applause, but the firm landing wins in safety. In aviation, control always beats comfort. When you're on board a wide-body jet like the Boeing 777, you might notice something distinct about the landings. These aren't your typical gentle touchdowns, or perhaps you've experienced a similar sensation on an Airbus A350. These landings often feel firmer, more decisive, but why is that? The answer lies in how these aircraft are engineered. They are built for strength, designed to withstand immense stresses and strains. Softness isn't the priority, robustness is. The goal is controlled force, not a gentle caress of the runway. Weighing hundreds of thousands of pounds, these behemoths carry incredible momentum as they approach the ground. Consequently, their landing gear is engineered to absorb huge forces, far beyond what smaller aircraft experience. It's a critical system designed for high-impact scenarios. Pilots are meticulously trained to fly these giants precisely onto the runway, trusting in the engineering and design. They are trained to let the gear do its job, absorbing the energy of the landing. Trying to grease a heavy jet to achieve an exceptionally smooth, barely noticeable touchdown is not only difficult, requiring immense skill and precision, it's fundamentally counter to the aircraft's design and intended operational parameters. The approach is stabilized, ensuring a consistent descent rate, and the flare, the upward adjustment just before landing, is minimal. As a result, the touchdown is planned to be firm, controlled and precisely within the designated touchdown zone on the runway. This deliberate firmness ensures immediate and complete transfer of the aircraft's immense weight to the wheels upon contact. This weight transfer is crucial for the immediate deployment of spoilers and the rapid engagement of reverse thrust, both of which are vital for slowing the aircraft down quickly and safely. The underlying physics of safely landing such a massive machine demand a positive, controlled arrival, not a gentle float. Therefore, for these aircraft, a firm landing isn't just acceptable, it is the standard, recommended and expected procedure. It's not a mistake, a misjudgment or a lack of skill on the part of the pilot. It's the safest, most effective way, carefully honed through years of experience and rigorous testing. To bring a heavy jet to a stop within the confines of the runway, ensuring the safety of everyone on board. So, the next time you feel that thud upon landing, remember that it's the system working precisely as designed, fulfilling its critical function. In the world of big jets, firmness isn't a flaw, it equals safety, control and the assurance of a well-executed landing. A firm landing is rarely a sign of error, in fact, it's often the opposite. It means the pilots have made the right calls for the day's conditions, weight, wind, runway and weather. 
That solid thud is risk being managed, not created. Airlines and regulators train pilots to prioritize a stable approach and decisive touchdown. Floating for comfort is discouraged. Safety always comes first. Pilots are evaluated on their ability to land firmly within the zone, not on how smooth it feels in the cabin. The culture of aviation is built on minimizing risk, and a firm landing is a key part of that. Next time you feel a strong touchdown, consider it a sign of skill, not a mistake. The pilots have done exactly what's needed to keep you safe. A firm landing is a professional landing. For passengers, a landing is all about sensation. For pilots, it's about precision and safety. It's time to rethink what makes a good landing. A firm touchdown is a mark of mastery. A pilot's ability to manage countless variables and execute the safest procedure. It's discipline over ego, safety over showmanship. That jolt is proof of expertise, not error. Instead of tensing up, appreciate the skill behind the sensation. Every firm landing is the result of years of training and a thousand careful calculations. On your next flight, remember, the safest landings are often the ones you feel. Thank your pilots for putting safety first. That's not a hard landing. It's a professional one.